known as Mr. Flipper House. And uh, I'm glad you guys decided to tune into this video today because I have a very, very powerful message for you guys. And uh, it's going to hopefully provide some inspiration and uh, more than likely uh, turn that light bulb off in your head or turn it on in your head uh, so you can get yourself going into doing the things that you really want to do in life, accomplishing all the goals that you ever dreamed of, and pretty much just living your dream, okay? Alright, what I want to talk about, what is the difference between a follower and a leader? But briefly, before I get into that, uh, I wanted to uh, bring up uh, this research that I read about just last week of what is the deepest regret that most people have when they're on their deathbed. And the interview was composed of 10 people who were on their deathbed and the answers were pretty much very, very similar in the same, guys. Uh, the deepest regret that most people have when they're on their deathbed is this. I wish I would have followed my dream. I wish I would have tried this. I wish I would have finished school. Or I wish I would have, uh, you know, followed my dream so I can accomplish all the goals that I have. So, those answers are very, very similar. And just imagine yourself being on that deathbed going through all of your regrets. Okay? That is one of the most horrific things that anyone could experience. Okay? Now, we are here on this earth for a temporary time. Which means we don't have much time to accomplish our goals because there's no telling when our time may come. 50 Cent said it best, get rich or die trying. And the whole illusion behind that is if I do decide or if the good Lord does decide to take me away from this earth tomorrow, I know that I've done everything that I possibly could to live my dream, uh, to provide my family with a better life, uh, so forth and so on. So I wouldn't have any regrets, would you? And that's a question that you need to really sit down and ask yourself. If you're at a wit's end right now, if you're at a dead end job where you see no personal growth, then you are not happy in the situation that you're in. The great thing about that environment that you're in, guys, is it's temporary. You can do something about that. Nobody doesn't have a gun to your head saying, hey, you have to work here in order to make it in this world. You have a mind of your own. I suggest really using it because a mind is really a terrible thing to waste, okay? And it all starts here in your mind. And if you're questioning yourself all the time, if you're wondering about the what ifs, could happen or what if I do this wrong or what if this happens along the way then you're going to continually uh, talk yourself right out of accomplishing what you want to accomplish and you're going to stay right in the position that you're in possibly still complaining every, every day about the situation that you're in and you're not doing anything about it Okay, so what I wanted to just uh, talk about is what is the difference between a follower and a leader? You have your followers. Followers are people who sit on the fence, pretty much, uh, and wait for either Bob or Sally to make a firm decision so that they can follow their decision. Well, what you essentially, when you, uh, what you do when you do that, guys, is you give up control of your life at that particular time or at that particular instance. And once you start to follow someone else's lead, you're following their course in life. You're following all of their goals uh, that they want to accomplish in life. Okay? And there is no room for growth there. Okay? There is uh, no potential room for you to succeed there at your highest pinnacle of success simply because you are following someone else's course okay alright do not follow people okay be a leader 
alright? Alright, a leader is someone who is able to get people to follow them, alright? Leaders are people who can inspire other people to come together, form a unit, and they all try to accomplish that one goal of whoever the leader is, okay? So you want to establish yourself as a leader, okay? Leaders usually do not worry about what the results are going to be at the end of whatever you're trying to accomplish. Leaders do not sit back and question themselves, saying, well, what if this happens? What if that happens? Uh, what if I get into this situation? How am I going to get out of the situations? Leaders usually dive, dive in head first, and whatever roadblock that they encounter along the way, they come up with solutions once they encounter that roadblock. Uh, as we all know, we tend to think better as human beings when we're under pressure, okay? All right, when we're under pressure, uh, uh, let's just say that your light bill is due tomorrow and you have no absolute money to pay your light bill. You're going to do any and everything it takes or come up with every solution that you possibly could to make sure that your light bill is paid tomorrow. So you're going to be forced into a thinking situation at that time. That's a roadblock. And nine times out of ten, we always seem to find a way to get over that roadblock, whether we are reaching out to family, uh, whether we have to, uh, you know, go get a pay advance, whatever it is that we have to do to encounter, uh, get over that roadblock in order to pay our light bill, that's what we'll do. And that's no different from living your dreams, getting out here, accomplishing your goals. As an entrepreneur, you will encounter roadblocks. I guarantee you that. Now, once you encounter that roadblock, us as an entrepreneur must know how to use our mind to elevate ourselves beyond that roadblock. Okay? So guys, don't become followers in life. Followers get what followers get. Followers usually complain all the time. Followers are always usually pinching themselves or pinching a penny. Followers are people who uh, follow leaders. Followers are people who can't make firm decisions. Followers are people who are scared of the end result. Okay? Leaders are people who do not care what the results will be. Leaders are people who uh, love to lead other people. Leaders are people who can help you along the way accomplish your goal. Leaders are people who come up with quick firm decisions at that particular time because they're in control of their own life okay so guys take heed to this do not become a follower because you're only going to get what followers get and that's very very minimal it's not going to lead you into accomplishing your goals you have a mind of your own so be a leader step out on your own not worrying about what the results believe in yourself it doesn't matter what anyone else thinks it doesn't matter if anyone else doesn't believe in you or what you're trying to accomplish as long as you believe in you in yourself that's all that matters the hell with your friends the hell with your family who may be talking negative down on you okay prove those people wrong you may know something that they don't I'm gonna tell you guys something when I very first got started in real estate I even had family members knocking me telling me how am I going to uh, accomplish this in such a bad economy you won't make money uh, buying and selling real estate right now in today's economy and you know what I proved all those people wrong and right now some of those same people are asking me to teach them this business that I do as far as buying and selling homes for a profit so guys I believed in me I didn't care what anybody else thought because you know why I'm a leader I'm not a follower. I don't follow what people say. I don't follow what people do just because they may have done it before I've done. I got a mind of my own. I don't care what they've done. 
And I don't care what you think I've done, okay, because I'm a leader and I'm a firm believer in getting out there, accomplishing, doing whatever I want to do. And every, every time you set your mind to do something or every time I set my mind to do something, I'm going to go out there and do it, not worrying about the end result. Okay? And if I do encounter a roadblock, trust me, I will get past that roadblock because I'm a leader. Okay? I'm not a follower. Alright? So guys, words of today is don't be a follower. Step out, be a leader. And you'll start to see opportunities to, uh, fall in your lap. Okay? If you take action, you can start to create luck or luck will be on your side. Okay? I really don't believe in luck. I really believe in the luck being created. And if you're sitting back complaining all the time about your situation, if you're sitting back complaining about your dead-end job, how you're not progressing, how there's no personal growth there, then I'm going to be honest with you. You're just a follower. You're following someone else's plan. Okay? And you can't get much out of that because it's not your plan. Who knows what they have planned for you? Obviously, it's not something that they have planned for themselves. I pretty much guarantee you this. Whatever they have planned for themselves is on a much higher scale than what they have planned for you. So there's no room for growth there. All right? So be a leader. Don't be a follower. Do me a great big favor. Click on the button above me, subscribe to my YouTube channel so you guys can stay updated on tips and inspiration uh, videos just like this. Also, you'll be able to get raw, uncut real estate strategies that you can't get anywhere else, guys. Alright? Visit my blog, which is MrFlipperHouse.com. Okay? Alright? I also just launched my one-on-one -on -one coaching program, which is going fantastic right now. Uh, over this week or the next couple days, I'm going to be posting a video of a student in Atlanta who just closed a deal for $13,000 using my strategies in less than two weeks. I'm going to post that video a little later this week, so I want you guys to stay tuned for that. Once again, this is your boy TJ Hines, Mr. Flipper House. I'm bringing you all the latest and greatest tips on real estate strategies, inspiration that you can get out there and start becoming a leader right now in today's economy, guys, doing whatever that you want to do. Peace out. I'm out of here. Happy Tuesday. Go flip some houses because you know your boy is. Peace.